What are you working on? Yeah, you know that thing I made? Yeah. It was working and then he said it was leaking. And I said, oh, is there gaskets for it? And he said, yes, which I thought. Um, so I put the gaskets on when I tightened it up and it snapped. The, Snapping gas. The welds on that thing I made. Oh, yeah. So I had to pull the compressor out, get the stud off the old compressor, do it, and then make a block. And then the block I just made bent, so I had to get a thicker one. Let's have a look at the side. Eh? Back at Brizzy High in the daytime for a better look. Here's the big 80 that Nathan bought with the Velis one in the front. Give you a bit of a look around at it, see what he's up to. Making it look a bit pretty at the moment. bog out you want generally about one fifth of what you got in hard enough mix that through so after he does this bog we're just going to be going over Nathan's daily skincare routine Look at these. Look at those mitts. Yeah. How's the bog going? Not as easy as it looks. Nathan's prepping the 80 for a fresh paint job. Um, he's finished bogging, I think. He's just sanding it down now. Got a couple of panels left to go. Had a bit of rust up in the in the back corners behind the window, but I think she's all cut out now, bogged up, ready to get painted. There's you. Versus the guy she told you not to worry about. Get rid of this clear coat peel. Just want to sort of sand it, blend it to a point where you can't feel any edge, even with your fingernails. How much is the paint job going to cost? Uh, as minimal as possible. I'm not looking to spend more than $400. Is that including bog and sandpaper? It includes everything. Everything. Nathan's been sanding this thing for about, I don't know, maybe six, seven hours now. What do you reckon? More? Less? What, in total? Yeah. More? Yeah. Still got a little lot to do. So. Yeah, gotta take, take side steps off, gotta take the plastic trims off, take the ball bar off, take a couple of badges off, windscreen wipers, and do a lot of taping and a lot more prep on top of that. And then we might be close to painting. That's so I'm gonna do my bit and get out of here. Before that, we'll give you a listen to this thing. Day two, prepping the 80 for paint. Nathan's just gonna rip all these trims off now. And he's actually bumped up his budget for the paint a little bit to 600, which I think is a little bit more realistic. Um, so that includes all the parts, still all the bog and the sandpaper and the bloke to paint it. So I still don't think he can, but he's pretty confident. So we we'll see how he goes. Um, if you can hear behind me right now, he's trying to sort out a bit of a fuel issue that he's having. It's getting like a bit of a fuel cut when he revs. Uh, just gotta reset the um, computer because the intake was sucking shut and it 
put us into like a fuel cut mode. But um, if you're disconnecting the computer, a little hack is instead of waiting half an hour and reconnecting it for the computer to reset, you just turn your lights on, pump the brakes a few times, drains all the power out of the lines. But you have to wait 30 seconds. And it should have towers. get that sprayed now but Nathan's spray painter is actually away for a little while so I'm gonna wrap up the video here and I'll put out another one when we get it painted I'll take you inside the shed I'll show you him spray painting it I'll get in there show you all that good stuff um, but yeah that's gonna do for now Nathan's gonna finish that off tonight and we'll get started on another long list of things that he needs to get done to this car before Australia Day it's the 15th today so that's about nine days away by my calculations